Hey, hey, it's your boy A. Golly coming out with another Fortnite Battle Royale video. In this video, we're going to be talking about some aiming tips and drills that you can personally do involving flicking, pop shotting, tracking, free aiming, and using the L analog. So now we're just going to get right into the video. And as you can see, if you actually edit the wall piece with just uh, two blocks on the bottom right, it actually makes the, it, it makes a little wall, but it makes it to your like a character's uh, person's height which is very universal in the game itself, which would be more realistic into what you're actually shooting at. All right, so the number one, we're going to be discussing flick shots. Now, personally, flick shots on console, to me, you have to be confident, and then you have to be comfortable with your shot. Now, the reason being is that if you're just going to flick shot, you don't have to flick shot every single time. More, it's likely used in the close quarters where you have to get that, that quick reaction shot. Or say if you get yeah, or say if you get surprised, then you want to get that shot off, but as accurate as possible. Now, to me, what I would do uh, to practice this, I would put a couple walls around in the area. I will use only precision type uh, guns, so don't mind the attack shotgun unless you want to practice that specifically. But what I would do is to only practice with specific precision uh, type guns, which would be the hunting rifle, the marksman rifle. I mean, I doubt you can do it with the marksman rifle. Kudos if you can, but uh, yeah, marksman rifle, the revolver, and the pump shotgun. The reason being is that these guns they take time one shot. Besides the marksman rifle, so I'll, I mean, it's it's an option, but I wouldn't recommend it. Just do the other three, and I would practice, you know, mastering your sensitivity. I mean, yeah, you you can do like your favorite Fortnite YouTuber or Fortnite YouTubers like Noisy or Zarby. Or anyone else that uses a high sensitivity, but if you're just gonna go to it and not be comfortable at all, and then it's just what is the point of you changing it? So I would say, just mess around with the sensitivity that you're doing right now, and focus on flicking. Do you know? Do like one or two walls at a time. See how many shots you can hit in a row, and then just keep going on and on and on after that. All right, number two, we'll be talking about pop shotting and using the L analog. Now, personally, for using the L analog, I would only say to do that if you need little to like minuscule modifications in your aiming when you're aiming at the target at hand. So, if it's jumping off a actual staircase and the person is below you, then yeah, I would use this. And then, if um, if you just need the literally like you're peeking around a corner and somebody's walking, you can literally just peek out. And you use like a little bit of a flick if you need to, if you need that uh, adjustment. Now, pop shotting is probably the most popular way people use, like the aim. Pop shotting in a third person game is pretty much best to use close quarters if, you know, you're strafing or if you just need to get a quick shot off and go right back into your build. Pop shotting is really good. Now, what I would do, I would build this, you know, these two, these three walls and a stair and make a little like a square type. Uh, target that you can aim at make two windows and put actually I have the stair behind it But make the front wood and then the back metal So you can have more shots on the actual uh, metal in the back But if you mess up which is a clear indicator if you shoot the wood it only takes I think like four or three shots on full wood so It's pretty much you know you're trying to get down that aim if you don't if you want to get those easy shots off But you end up choking then it's like this is more of addressing of that type and then, um, yeah, just start messing around with, like, once you get start getting comfortable with using the L analog and the pop shotting and plus the flick shotgun, just start trying to mess around to show, like, how comfortable you are with your sensitivity. I mean, you can, yeah, show off to yourself, show off to your friends, but it's more, it's helping you to, like, the master what you, um, need to be addressing. So, yeah, um, you can do that box method. You can put some walls around. You can pretty much just make your own little obstacle course, like a little firing range. It's, say, like, if it was, like, a... Like a legit like firing range, like beeping in your air, you're just going in and trying to hit as many targets as you can. Yeah, and also while you're practicing, try and like mimic movements that you would do in an actual gunfight or pretty much any anything in game that you would do, like jumping around, building, do anything that would make it like as close as your playstyle as you can. Either building up on somebody or putting the wall of a block and then shooting, popping out of cover. Doing quick edits, then shooting like this is a uh, this will help you get more comfortable, so you won't be panicking in a gunfight. Another quick tip and thing you can do is um, trying to start doing 180s. That's when, to me, when you mastered your sensitivity, if you can do a full 180 right on the target that you're aiming at, or even like a full 360 looking at the target, then to me, if you can do that at least five times in a row or more, I feel as though that you've mastered your uh, your sensitivity. All right, so we're coming out with number three, eye tracking. So the reason I want to address this as a whole is that the whole point 
of you getting used to your sensitivity and how fast you want your actual sensitivity to be. So instead of focusing on how fast your sensitivity is, just focus on how your eyes adjust to each target. What I mean by that is, say, I play on seven seven because it's comfortable to me. So I, I don't want any var I don't want any varying from my eyesight to go like different sensitivities with my X X and Y. I don't want it to be different. I want it to be the same all around. So there, it would be easier for my eyes to adjust to what it is. If could I move it up if I want it? Yeah, I could, but it'll probably take me a couple, you know, a couple minutes or maybe a couple matches just to get used to it. So the reason like I want you to make like a little, like a little ground area, put some on the ground, higher ground, and then instead of aiming at your, you know, your crosshair, I want you to aim with your eyes. You looking at the target. So then, like, move your, move your like, actual person's crosshair away from the target, but literally focus on the target at hand. And then I want you to like you're doing like you're doing a flick, but instead of that you need to like and when addressing the eye tracking you want to focus on the timing of the shot. Reason being is that if you need to get a quick shot off and then put a four or a four wall down, you want to get that that shot. That and any shot that you can make on the target could be you know, literally the deciding factor in the in the actual match. So I want you to look at the target. Shoot, like literally focus as much as you can on the finer details of the target. He ends up it's like being a small piece of it, or you're just aiming specifically for the middle. Like literally try and track your like literally focus on you don't even have to be a target, just focus on a tree. Literally just to go wild with your analog. Just start moving it everywhere. Just trying to keep your analog to follow where your eyesight is going. So like even addressing your own eye tracking is more of like you want to try and improve your focus on the target. Hence being that say you're in a gunfight, you got like two people down and then that third person is like he's got the pressure on, he's, he's shooting at you. So people, I've heard people even say that once like if it's too much for them, they close their eyes or they just start looking around or they just, just spray and pray hope for the best. This you want to try and focus on like. Like how determined and focused you are on the kill at hand. I mean, yeah, it might sound like you're sweating a lot, but it's more of like you want to have enough focus to the point that you're not, you know, losing your shot. You want to just keep focusing on it and like don't blame it on your controller, your sensitivity. It's more of like as long as you're as, as long as you can keep in tune with your own hand-eye coordination, as long as your eyesight is key, like dead on, centered on the target itself, then it's like. You should have no problem. Like your focus should be on spot. Recoil should be on spot. Everything should be, you know, in tune. Like you're pretty much fixing the tweaks or resetting your eyes when doing this. So like, when you like playing on a higher sensitivity or anything, just try and focus on the target at hand. Like don't ever like don't try not to look at the crosshairs. Just literally focus on each target. Every time you throw one, just look at the other one. Just focus as much as you can. And then as the crosshair crosses over the target, just try and time it right. You know. Try and get it dead on the target and then you'll be good to go this is what helped me a lot when trying to be focusing on difficult shots or say if i'm under pressure which for some reason i do tend to do better under pressure at the task at hand all right everybody this is going to be the end of this video if you have uh, stick through this video throughout the whole thing i appreciate the support love you guys be sure to follow my social links in the description provided below and that is going to be all for me in, in this video well, everybody, stay godlike.